This presentation was brought to you by MLDS Networks. You can find us at mlds-networks.com. This tutorial is going to explain uh, using menus to display different content on a Joomla 1.5 site using sections and categories. From the first tutorial video, you may remember that a Joomla site has a hierarchy of an overriding site with individual sections with categories inside of those sections and then content items inside there. You may also remember that a single item cannot belong to more than one category and categories cannot belong to more than one section. This layout here demonstrates how we have devised a example layout of animals as a section, dogs and cows as the categories, with individual articles belonging to each category. We have another section called cars our categories Ford and Honda with their resulting articles. So when we want to make a menu item, we see here on our site right now that we just have the default home thing. We have already created a menu and created the module for the menu, which will be covered in another video. Today, so we want to go to the menu manager and click on menu items. You see I have the home menu here. So if I create a new menu item by going to the right hand side and clicking new, you give me a list of different types. In this case I want to do articles. So I click on articles and then it gives me a layout of archive, articles, categories, and sections. Um, an article layout, you can see it gives a little tooltip, displays a single article. So if I wanted to display just the golden retriever article from clicking on that, I, um, menu item, I would want to use this one. If I wanted to do a category, that is if I wanted to link to the dogs category where it would show both the golden retriever and the Labrador article, I would want to use one of the category layouts. A blog layout will display intro text for each of those items. A list layout will just have a list of titles that are linkable to the individual items. The section blog layout is the same as the category blog layout before the overriding section. So I could pick the animals section and show all the content items. So golden retriever and Jersey cows and Labrador retrievers and Holstein cows all in one list would go here. So let's pick the category blog layout. And you'll ask for a title. This is the title that will appear in a menu on the left hand side. So I'm going to want to show all the dogs. The aliases I'm just going to leave as is. And on the right hand side you'll see over here where it says choose a category. I'm going to pick from the section animals dogs. And I can go ahead and click save. If I refresh our site we'll now see that there's a dogs menu item. If I click on it, it will have both the Labrador and the Golden Retriever article. If I go back to the menu item, let's say I want to make a link just to the article about Jersey Cows. So I would click on the article layout, displays a single article. So I'd click on that, give it a name, Jersey Cows. And on the right hand side it says select an article. I'm going to click the select button. It's going to pop up a list of all of our different articles here. We can filter by section or by category, but I have a small enough list here. I'm just going to click the Jersey Cows. Everything else is filled in. Click save. If I go back to our homepage and refresh it, now I have a link to Jersey Cows. And it shows just the Jersey Cow article, not um, all of the cows articles under the animal section. So what was the difference between that category blog layout and the category list layout? Well let's go ahead and make a category list layout for our dogs again and call it dog list. We're gonna select our animals dogs again just like last time for our category. Hit save go back to our home page 
see the dog list if I click on the dog list here notice it's literally just a list of Labrador and Golden Retriever I can click on Labrador and it'll show us the labs I can click on Golden Retriever it'll show us the Golden Retriever notice the difference between the list and the category of blog layout the blog layout shows us some of our articles and the list shows us only some of them so menu items not only control what they link to but they also control how the articles are presented to you either in the blog format or in the in the uh, list format that you can get into lots of fun options if I go back to the dog uh, category blog layout you'll notice there's other options over here uh, where you can turn on showing the description of the category. I didn't put in a description when I created the dog category, so that wouldn't show anything. There's also the leading article. This will be a single article wide across the top of the page, and a number of intro articles for text to show. And then the number of columns, and number of links for additional items below that. So let's go ahead and quickly create a new uh, article uh, under dogs okay so now that I've created a few extra dog articles see that if I go back and look at the dog blog category you'll see that there's the most recent dog article goes the whole width and then there's a few more that go in this two column now in the menu item is where I control the order these are listed in and how they're shown. See, I don't like having these articles side by side and I want to make it a single column. If I go back to my menu item for dogs under blog, if I change the columns menu here, I'm going to change it to one. I'm going to save that, refresh the page. You'll notice now that it's just a single column of articles. Say I want to change the order and click on the parameters and under category order it says uh, no order. I'm going to set it to, uh, I can set it to um, being alphabetical or I can say for primary order instead if I leave category order I can switch to cat primary order and say do the oldest first because those have those nice images at the top so I can go ahead and save that if I refresh the page now those older images will appear at the top say I want to have fine control over the order in which the dog articles are displayed I can go back to the menu item Go to parameters and under orders, we'll put it under literally order. So if we save that and we look at our article manager, you'll notice these little arrows that specify um, up and down orders. If I switch the category to dogs to show just the dogs articles, you'll see that the first one should be dog three, the second one dog two third one Labrador. Well, let's move the Labrador up to the top by clicking that up arrow. So now we see that Labrador is at the top, then Dog 3, Dog 2, and Golden Retriever. If we refresh the page, we'll see that we have Labs, Dog 3, Dog 2, Golden Retriever. So that's how we can get fine control over the order in which they are displayed. So that is menu items. Uh, you can actually have menus appear in multiple locations on your site, depending on where you place the menu module, which will be explained later. But So menu items, in summary, control what content is displayed, how it's displayed, whether it's a single article, the blog layout, or the list layout, and also control the order in which they're displayed um, by setting the order based on uh, title name, uh, date created, date modified, or the explicit order using the up and down arrows. Again, this tutorial was brought to you by MLDS Networks at mlds-networks.com.